Okay, it is uh, November 14th. I am at the law offices of uh, Jim Haggerty, who happens to be the mayor of Kingston, but he's also representing uh, Bill Dixon, uh, who is a council member in Plymouth, Pennsylvania, who right now is uh, going through a, a tough time because... Uh, well, you tell me why he's going through a tough time. Yeah, uh, Bill uh, was elected to council uh, in 2011. He began his term in January 2012. Uh, Plymouth's a, a community where every, all the elected officials are Democrats, uh, but Bill's in a, a, a minority faction which uh, opposes uh, the borough coordinator and, and the majority members of council. And so uh, the majority of council has decided that they, are gonna, they want to use tax dollars to investigate Mr. Dixon's background and seek to have him removed from his council seat. They're not doing that because... Uh, they're trying to preserve the integrity of the electoral process or they're altruists or anything like that. They're doing this simply to remove a political opponent. Now, wh what is the basis of them trying to remove it? Uh, Bill, Bill uh, Dixon, Bill was uh, uh, born in 1950. Uh, when he was 17, he volunteered uh, for the Army and uh, uh, served. And when he was 18 in the Army, they wouldn't send him to Vietnam before he was 18. When he was 18, he volunteered to go to, and he went to Vietnam, uh, did a 12-month tour, voluntarily extended uh, for another six months. And when he got out of the Army in 1970, um, he got in some trouble when he came back. He was a young man. Uh, he was convicted of uh, some felony crimes. He had a, a drug offense and a burglary offense. Uh, he was convicted. And be when if you have a felony conviction, you cannot serve as an elected official in Pennsylvania. But Bill has been pardoned by the governor for those offenses and that makes him eligible to serve. But his opponents are trying to use a technicality and say, well, but he has this federal case which really doesn't come under the state pardon and they're trying to use any angle they can to remove Bill. And they want to remove him, not because he had cases from the 70s, they want to remove him because he's their political opponent and they don't want him on the council. Tell me a little about Bill Dixon. You said he was a, a, a combat veteran from Vietnam uh, and he was elected uh, last fall to uh, Plymouth Council. I understand he was the top vote getter. Yes. Uh, Bill, Bill has been involved. He's lived in Plymouth for over 30 years. Uh, he's been married for over 30 years. He raised two children in Plymouth. He has two grandchildren. He's been involved in a number, uh, a long list of community activities in Plymouth with youth sports and community organizations. Uh, church organizations and the like. Bill's very, very involved in his community. Therefore, he knows a lot of people. He's a hard worker. He's a, a, a person who's dedicated to the public good. He's a guy that never turns down a request for help. And when he ran for council uh, in 2011, last year, there were four people that were running for council. Bill was the highest vote getter uh, by a significant margin, which shows the confidence the people in Plymouth have in him. At uh, the council meeting uh, last night where the council decided to hire this lawyer to investigate Bill and try to have Bill removed, uh, the council room was packed with, there were more than 100 people there, many of them carrying signs uh, in support of Bill. Uh, the outpouring of public support for Bill from Plymouth and from other communities where people know him has really been tremendous. Now you said they hired a, a lawyer to do what? Well, that's a good question. Uh, the ability to remove an elected official uh, does not rest with the other elected officials. The Plymouth Council can't remove Bill Dixon or any other council member uh, from uh, the seat. You can, an elected official can only be removed by a legal action filed by the state attorney general or a county district attorney. So Plymouth can hire all the lawyers they want, spend all the money they want. Uh, it's, it doesn't matter what, what Plymouth does. It matters what the county district attorney does and what the state attorney general uh, does with regard to this, this matter. So Plymouth uh, yesterday voted essentially to waste taxpayer money and uh, uh, we look at it we're, from this point of view. Plymouth is now spending $200 an hour for their lawyer. They're spending $200 an hour to look into crimes from the 1970s but the council refuses to spend twelve fifty an hour to hire police to look into crimes in 2012. That, that, that's, that's just incredible. Uh, now where where does the case stand now with the district attorney's office? Well, the district attorney I, has been collecting information. I th uh, the, she the, the the people in Plymouth that want Bill out of office uh, made her aware of uh, the situation at least uh, early this year. Uh, to the district, district attorney's credit, she's been looking at this issue uh, and has been w waiting for the governor's pardon. Earlier this year, Bill had a recommendation, a, a unanimous recommendation of a five to zero vote from the state board of pardons. 
Um, that's uh, very, very few people um, get a five to zero unanimous vote from the Board of Pardons. Bill had that, but he didn't have the governor's pardon in hand. Now that that's in hand, in hand uh, the situation is different. The DA was waiting for the pardon to come through. It's come through, and to her credit, she's been uh, looking at this in a deliberative way. Now, Jim, what, is a, what exactly is a pardon, and what does that, if you could tell us a little about? Well, a pardon, uh, the, the executive, uh, the chief executive officer in the state, you know, the governor, uh, has a constitutional authority to grant a pardon or clemency to somebody with a conviction. Uh, and so under the Constitution, the governor exercises his power, he, he, he grants a pardon, uh, which er essentially erases uh, the criminal convictions that somebody has from their record. Those convictions no longer exist. And any legal disability you might have as a result of the conviction with regard to there's something that you can't do because you have a conviction that other citizens can do, all those disabilities go away as well. Should Bill Dixon be on council? Bill Dixon um, should be on council in any town that he wants to serve. Uh, Bill Dixon is exactly the kind of person that we need uh, volunteering to serve and running for our public uh, our public bodies. He's a guy. He's not. He's not motivated by anything other than a desire to serve. Uh, as a council member in Plymouth, he gets paid sixty-seven dollars a month. He donates his salary to community organizations: the fire company, the youth sports. Um, charitable organizations in the community. Uh, his 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 record is of service, and he was called to serve. The citizens of his community asked him to run. Bill, you're the kind of guy we need to have on council. And he ran, and they supported him to the degree that he was the highest vote getter in a field of four candidates. Um, he doesn't. He's not looking for glory. This this situation with uh, uh, where they're trying to remove him. Is he finds it very distressing because he's not a public person. He's not looking for to be in the spotlight. Uh, he's not looking for a claim. He's just a guy that wants to go ahead and serve uh, the people in his community. He's been doing that as a volunteer his, for most of his adult life, and now he's doing it as an elected official. Uh, he's the best kind of person to be an elected official in your town. Okay, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. You're welcome.